This video is brought to you by ProBoxingSupplies.com, where you can get 25% off your purchase now. And Boss Rutan's O2 Trainer. Check out O2Trainer.com. Ready? Okay. Spencer Lazara, MMAinterviews.tv, alongside Travis Brown. You were supposed to be on this card. What happened? Uh, Big Ben got injured. Um, we couldn't find a replacement, so... You know, now I'm just uh, I'm waiting for October 5th. Mm -hmm. Bigfoot Silva, definitely a, a good fight for you. What do you feel like it is like stylistically? Uh, you know, I think uh, it's it's a lot of the same kind of fight, but I think uh, Bigfoot's a little bit more well-rounded. Uh, I think he's fought tougher guys in the division, um, or you know, in Kane and and in Strike Force, but uh, and I, I think he has a lot of experience coming into the fight. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to fight my game and, and uh, you know, I'm going to impose my will. Definitely comfortable standing. I mean, I'd say the only place you don't want to be is on bottom of that big guy. Yeah, you know, you never want to be on your back um, in the heavyweight division. This is not a good place to be. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I mean, I, I'm good anywhere else. Um, you know, we always work hard to, to get off of our back if I, under, if I ever end up there. Um, but we'll see how it goes. How's the new home at Jackson, and how's all that going? It's wonderful. Um, you know, I've, I've really found my groove there as far as training, you know, training partners, uh, you know, different coaches, where to go, and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, it's been it's been a good transition. It took a little bit. It took, a, like, a full camp in order for me to find that groove, but uh, I found it now, and everything's nice and smooth. So how do you focus on not overtraining? Now you, you've been in camp, and now you got to kind of take a little time off, or you just get just keep at it, or what? Yeah, I drink a lot of soda, eat a lot of ice cream, and not training. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Well, at least you won't have to cut weight. No, absolutely not, no. And I'm still about, like, 250 probably right now. So I was a little bit lighter for my last camp, uh, going about to come into this fight. So, um, you know, I'd, I'll, I'll be all right, though. Silva's a really big guy. I mean, cuts down to 265. You think uh, his size will be at all a factor in there? You know, I think uh, if, if I if I allow it to be, um, you know, he he is a large individual. If I let him, you know, just kind of dictate the pace, maybe put me against the cage or even on my back and just kind of wear me out, then yeah, the size is going to definitely be an issue. Uh, anywhere else, I don't I don't see it being a problem. Seems like the speed will be something. It's always uh, the problem for Silva is if you can really be the faster man, that will definitely uh, bode well for you. Yeah, that's something that we've noticed, and I think that that actually goes with any fighter. You know, if somebody's quicker than you, it's going to be hard to not get hit by them. You know, um, so I think that's something that we're going to focus on, and and you know, and just coming out and and uh, you know, just kind of making him see something that maybe he hasn't seen before. Have you been watching much of the Olympics? I watched some of the archery the other day. That's about it. <laughs> if you were in the Olympics then, outside of any martial arts activity, what sport would it be in? Synchronized diving. Because I like wearing Speedos. <laughs> I like that. Not basketball. You said you're a basketball player. Yep. Yeah, basketball, I think. But, you know, they don't show enough skin. You know what I mean? And I've, I have abs now, so, I, so now I'm about showing off my abs. I never had them before in my life. So I'm talking about, you know, trying to wear Speedos. <laughs> what level did you wear? Uh, did you play basketball oh, in? What did you wear? Did I wear Speedos? Oh, easy. <laughs> <laughs> what level did you play basketball at? Uh, I played at collegiate level. I played for uh, about a year and a half collegiately, and then uh, I just went out and started working and you know trying to earn a paycheck. Yeah. How does that athletic ability go right into MMA? I mean, that's oh. basketball is such a incredible athletes in there yeah it's big time I mean you know just the footwork and you know being on the balls of your feet and moving side to side laterally not just uh, you know forward and back so you know it, it, it it's a big uh, big help yeah. appreciate the time very excited for your fight UFC on FX5 headline of the card this is Travis Brown he's fighting Bigfoot Silva October 5th Godspeed and party on